you very much for um, asking me to speak today, Jonathan. And what I'm going to do today is tell you a little bit about our approach to people at Moneypenny and um, my little bit of direct action in the world. Um, Moneypenny, um, I set up Moneypenny in 2000 with my brother Ed, £10,000 and a big idea. Um, and today we employ 450 people um, in offices, mainly in our hometown of Wrexham, North Wales, but we've also got an office in the States and in New offices in New Zealand. Um, we look after calls for all sorts of businesses, from small one-man bands right up to huge multinationals, magic circle law firms. Um, we're one of the top five best companies to work for in the medium-sized section. Um, so we're a very good company today. And um, we're soon moving to a new purpose-built um, 100,000 square foot office in, um, in Wrexham, which we, will be a landmark building for the North West, which is very exciting. So life's pretty busy at the moment. Um, and also, because I'm a woman, and because I am Welsh, and in Wales, and because I've set up a business and I'm an entrepreneur, I've got lots of labels, I get invited to sit on every single panel <laughs> you can imagine. And um, I've, so I've done that. I've done it for years. And actually, I've really, really wondered whether anything I've ever done has ever affected any change ever at any time. So last year, I had a big think about whether this really was the best way to spend my time away from the day job. And the answer was, unsurprisingly, was a big fat no. So um, I decided to take direct action. Um, and I've made some change happen in our local community of Wrexham. Um, Wrexham has been a very good home for us. And we've actually found world-class people to work for us to allow us to, live, to deliver a world-class service. So we love Wrexham, and this was actually my time to start giving something back. And what I asked was the question, if Moneypenny employees can achieve so much with the support that we give them, what could young people who maybe haven't had the best start in life, what could they achieve with that support? I couldn't find the answer, so I thought I'd go and find out. So in March last year, I recruited the foundation director, Diane Aplin, and we set to work. A bit like Rosie was talking about before doing Google, we started at Google. We found out about other people that were doing this kind of thing. We went and spoke to the Barclay Foundation that do amazing things here in London. We spoke to Timpsons, not surprisingly. Um, they actually, as James didn't even mention it before, but they actually also run a pub up on the North Wales coast, where they, a bit like 15, where they recruit young unemployed people from Anglesey. Um, and we spoke to Shine TV. Um, they'd run a very successful program called The Hatch. So we got all of their lovely best practice. And we then we wrote a list. And what that list comprised of was what would I want if I was a young 19-year-old who maybe was homeless, who maybe left care, who was unemployed? What would I want? So Diane and I wrote a long list. And then what we did was we merged that list with our best practice. And we created a six-month traineeship for young unemployed women in Wrexham. We start off with eight trainees, six months, work experience, very importantly, coaching and